Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is Morning Prayer for Thursday, April the 27th. It's the second week of Easter and week one in the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 18, verse 1 to 19, and Daniel chapter 2, verse 31 to 49. And now please join me in singing the first verse of The Strife is O'er. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The strife is o'er, the battle done, the victory of life is won. The song of triumph has begun. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, I love you, my God, and my strength. Hallelujah, Psalm 18, and please recite it with me. Hallelujah, I love you, my God and my strength. You are my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. You are my God, my strength in whom I trust, my shield, my salvation, and my high tower. I call upon you, worthy to be praised, and I shall be saved from my enemies. The sorrows of death surround me, and the floods of the ungodly made me afraid. The sorrows of hell plotted against me. The snares of death were set for me. In my distress I called to you, and you heard my voice out of your temple. My cry came before you to your ears. And then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations of the hills moved because you were angry. And smoke came out of your nostrils and fire out of your mouth and coals were kindled by it. You lowered the heavens and came down, and darkness was under your feet. You rode upon a cherub. You flew upon the wings of the wind. You wrapped yourself in darkness, dark waters, and thick clouds, your pavilion. And from your brightness burst forth hail, and coals of fire through the thick clouds. You thundered in the heavens, and uttered your voice, hail and coals of fire. You sent your arrows and scattered them, and you shot your lightnings and routed them. And then the river and the sea beds were seen, and the foundations of the world were uncovered at your rebuke, O Most High, at the blast of your breath, of your nostrils. You reached down from above and took me. You drew me out of the great waters. You delivered me from my enemy and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. They attacked me in the day of my calamity, but you were my support, and you brought me forth into a large place. You delivered me because you loved me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love you, my God, and my strength. Hallelujah. A reading from Daniel chapter 2, beginning at verse 31. O king, as you looked on, there appeared a great statue. And this statue, which, which was huge and its brightness surpassing, stood before you, and its appearance was awesome. The head of that statue was of fine gold, its breast and arms were of silver, its belly and thighs of bronze, its legs were of iron, and its feet part iron and part clay. And as you looked on, a stone was hewn out, not by hands, and struck the statue on its feet of iron and clay and crushed them. All at once the iron, clay, bronze, silver, and gold were crushed and became like chaff of the threshing floors of summer. A wind carried them off until no trace of them was left. 
But the stone that struck the statue became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. Such was the dream, and we will now tell the king its meaning. You, O king, king of kings, to whom the God of heaven has given kingdom, power, might, and glory, into whose hands he has given men, wild beasts, and the fowl of heaven, wherever they may dwell, and to whom he has given dominion over them all. You are the head of gold. But another kingdom will rise after you, inferior to yours, and then yet a third kingdom of bronze, which will rule over the whole earth. But the fourth kingdom will be as strong as iron, just as iron crushes and shatters everything. And like iron that smashes, so will it crush and smash all these. You saw the feet and the toes, part potter's clay and part iron. That means it will be a divided kingdom. It will have only some of the stability of iron, insomuch as you saw iron mixed with common clay. And the toes were part iron and part clay. That means the kingdom will be in part strong and in part brittle. You saw iron mixed with common clay. That means they shall intermingle with the offspring of men, but shall not hold together, just as iron does not mix with clay. And in the time of those kings, the God of heaven will establish a kingdom that shall never be destroyed, a kingdom that shall not be transferred to another people. It will crush and wipe out all these kingdoms, but shall itself last forever just as you saw how a stone was hewn from the mountain, not by hands, and crushed the iron, bronze, clay, silver, and gold. The great God has made known to the king what will happen in the future. The dream is sure and its interpretation reliable. Then King Nebuchadnezzar prostrated himself and paid homage to da uh, Daniel and ordered that a meal offering and a pleasing offerings be made to him. The king said in reply to Daniel, Truly, your God must be the God of gods, and the Lord of kings, and the revealer of mysteries, to have enabled you to reveal this mystery. The king then elevated Daniel and gave him very many gifts, and made him governor of the whole province of Babylon, and the chief prefect of all the wise men of Babylon. And at Daniel's request, the king appointed Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to administer the province of Babylon, while David, Daniel himself, was at the king's court. Here ends the lesson. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Dear God Most High, hear our cry in times of distress. Deliver us from our enemies, for we cannot prevail without your help. For you are our God, our fortress, our rock, our strength, and our salvation, and we exalt in you forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. 
Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.